Build Stuff and Bikes present. Hello, welcome to my channel. In this quick video, you're going to see how I change my RO pre filters. Hold tight. So, these are the old filter. Uh, I'm going to replace the pre filters, but not the membrane. These are done every six months. This is RO is for my discus fish. And here I'm showing you the flow direction of the water incoming from the outside tap running through the sediment and the chlorine filter. So these are the lovely new filters. I purchased these, uh, purchased these on Amazon. I will leave the link in the description below. So I'm going to uh, take off the elbow joints as seen here. And then I'm going to recycle it responsibly as seen there. So this is the first filter of my three-stage RO unit. I use this mainly for my discus fish, but you can use reverse osmosis for lots of things. Just look on ChatGPT if you want to find out. So here you can see me putting the elbows from the old units into the new. Uh, make sure they come with this. And then all it's simply doing is push fit, pull it to make sure it's in. And uh, this is high pressure, little small um, hose. Uh, I've forgotten the, the diameter. Uh, you push it in, pull it out, and then insert the blue circlips, which you got. I'm just about to show you now. There you go. There's me being another Wally. Insert that, and that ensures that the unit will stay secure and watertight. So now the first pre filter is installed. The sediment filter takes all the little bits and pieces out of the uh, water. We're now going to put the tube in, which links the sediment filter to the charcoal filter. And the charcoal filter takes all the rubbish out of the water because incoming water is pH of about 7.8 or 8. No good for my discus fish. So we need it around about 6, which is between. It's a mixture of alkaline and acid. So this is what this is doing. So this tube is pushed in again using that blue thing that I showed you earlier where I was a bit of a wally and then now we're gonna uh, get hold of the new charcoal filter here you can see me turning it around ready and we're going to install this so always use a bucket and um, then you won't lose any of the little blue sir clips which we've talked about earlier and you can catch all the residual water that's coming out of the old filters and check for leaks by using this blue button here we can flush the pre-filters without affecting the membrane. The membrane lasts around a year to two years, as long as you change the pre-fills every six months or so many litres. Uh, so yeah, mine's a 300 litre tank, so it uh, doesn't use a lot, so it's every six months. Uh, so we flush that for a little while, five to 10 minutes, and then we will then turn that blue knob back and we will check for the leaks by pressurizing the system so that the, the water starts to go through the membrane. So I hope you like my video. I'm sorry if I've been a bit of a wally, but it uh, depends what mood I'm in. If you want to like, subscribe and comment, let me know what I can do for you in the future, uh, how this has been helpful. I hope it's been a good video. It's, I hope it showed you what to do with RO pre-filters as there's lots of confusion. Hold tight.